Good morning. I'm glad you are with us for this weekly devotional. I have spent a great deal of time over the last few weeks looking into this idea or this thought of service, uh, uh, striving to connect it with love, what it means to, to love, to love God, to love man. To put all of these things together and understand that service to man is service to God. Serving him, caring for him, being willing to give that one who is in need that which he truly needs. Ultimately coming to the point of, of showing each person that we come in contact with because of our service to them. Letting them see Christ letting them see God in our lives. Beginning to understand that there is something different. There's something more. And that we as a child of God are there to deliver these things to others. That we're there to show the kindness, the goodness, the graciousness of God. Although we must also show his judgment. But as a child of his, what can what they might have, this salvation, this forgiveness, this love, this care, a hope. And so over the next two uh, Sunday mornings, uh, I'm going to be dealing a great deal with this service, with this love that Christ had. So that we might strive even closer to understanding what it is that God wants out of us as his children. But I want us to listen to a portion of Romans, the 12th chapter. I want us to hear what Paul says and, and this idea of love, this idea of, of serving, this idea of caring for others is in this passage. In Romans, the 12th chapter, starting at verse 9, he says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil or hate that which is evil. Hold fast to what is good. It's this idea of abhor, he said, I hate it so much that you set it completely aside. Don't look at it. Don't even think about it. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Hey, he's looking more right now at looking at these that are, are children of God. Try to keep those things within that group of people. And those who are called out, keep it uh, polite, keep it friendly, keep it uh, in a very loving manner. Seeking to do one another great good. Seeking to care for one another in such a manner that when the world looks in and sees, it can find no fault. And so often we find ourselves living a life that shows a great deal of fault. We hold something against a brother. We talk about one another in some manner. We hold disgust for somebody. You see, all of those things he's telling us to be careful, to look at one another and realize that we are brothers in Christ, to seek, to care, to, to take one another and do that which is good for them. Then in verse 14, he changes just a little bit because these who are on the outside looking in are those who are really in pain, those who are really hurting, those who really do not have God. Those who are maybe seeking genuinely and don't know where to look. Maybe they don't know that God even exists. But if we look at verse 14, he says, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Give, this idea of giving of your time, being willing to put up with anything. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty. But associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to what is honorable in the sight of all. 
Oh, we think about this idea, not 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 to play a life of cutthroat, of of envy, of hate, of of disgust, uh, of looking down on those who are for what we would call below our self flesh or in, in in the human manner of speaking. So often we fail to realize how disgusting we were lost in sin, and yet. Christ still died on the cross. He still sought to give us for sick for forgiveness. He still sought to give us the most precious gift of an eternity with God if we're willing to follow. He said, repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all, never avenge yourselves but leave it to the wrath of God for it is written vengeance is mine I will repay says the Lord to the contrary if your enemy is hungry feed him if he is thirsty give him something to drink for by doing so you will heap burning coals on his head this, this idea is not not to hurt a person but to bring to their consciousness that we as children of God are different we as children of God care for one another. We care for each other. We care for those outside of Christ. We seek to give them the things that they need. This love is, is, is so extravagant that maybe it's difficult for us to get a hold of. To love that which is unlovable, to care about that which does not deserve care. And yet, as those who are lost in sin, we were the same person. If he is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not overcome. Do not be overcome with evil, or by evil, but overcome evil with good. It is so difficult for us, humanly speaking, to do this idea, to do these things, to live our life, and to care for others out of a genuine love, that love which comes from Christ. We must take a look at ourselves and, and say, are we serving? Are we, have we given ourselves over to God as he has asked us? Are we genuinely willing to forsake this fleshly body and live a life for Christ? This is the idea that he's presenting before us. To seek to do the will of God, to seek to give ourselves over to him, to seek to show others that Christ lives in us. And, and when the world is looking for God, they might be able to see God in his children. I want you to think about these things this week. We would love to have you here for Sunday morning uh, services. But we enjoy having those each one of you is our guest as you come but we thank you so much when you come we thank you so much for being here this morning and may god bless you